What's up, everybody? This is Ashley Johnson Cross with Live Big. Welcome to my channel, you guys, where every single week I give you tips on how you, my friend, can live big in a double digit world. Hang on, you guys. Join me for this week's episode where I plan to share three things you can do so that you don't panic. It's some trying times going on and all of us need just a little bit of extra motivation and a little bit of extra boost. Don't go anywhere, you guys. Live Big starts right now. Okay, so before we get started with our content for the week... I want to remind everybody to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, you can click the subscription button below right here um, and make sure you hit the notification bell. I want you guys to know when we're coming on. The plan is to come to you every single week and just share with you how you can maximize your life. Everybody's saying 2020 is their year. Well, friends, I want to make sure that I share tips with you every single week on how you can be big on purpose. So with that being said, let's dive in to tip number three as we count down the things that you can do instead of paying. All right, so we've seen so much on the news and so much on social media um, regarding the virus and the shutdowns and the quarantines and the potential quarantines and the school shuts down, shutting schools, shutting down. It seems like a tongue twist to say that three times. Schools shutting down. There you go. I made it. And um, a lot of fear right now and anxiety um, just in the land about what's to come, what's to happen next. And so I've noticed that the levels of anxiety and panic have really uh, increased. And so it is our job, those of us that are coaches, those people that are counselors and encouragers, even those in the faith-based community to not be silent during these times and to be able to come on and to share something that's going to boost people and help them know what to do instead of panic. So I'm going to kick it off with point number three. Um, in order for you not to panic, what can you do, you guys? You need to make sure that you educate. All right, education is so important. Um, but when I train business and industry and um, even work with my individual clients and to check that out, you can visit my website um, right here below. Uh, what I try to always stress is that the saying knowledge is power is a, um, a lie. And I know that hurts people when you say something like that. Um, because knowledge is power, maybe I'll change it and be sweeter and say that it's not a lie, but it is only a partial truth. How about that? Right, right. Uh, knowledge is power is only a partial truth. In actuality, um, I don't just believe that knowledge is power. I believe applied knowledge is power. You can know that something is not good for you and you can still do it. Um, you can get the information and the knowledge of what won't be good for your body, what, what's not good for your family or the economy or even for your finances. And every single week um, I'm coming on and millions of other people are coming on, giving you information on how you can live big. And still, some of you will gain the knowledge, but you won't apply the knowledge and it won't profit you in any single area of your life. So in this time where people are home more and people are working from home and being remote, I want to make sure that you know that knowledge alone is not power. What you do with that knowledge, how you apply that knowledge is what allows you to get ahead of the crowd, to get a one up. It's the tipping point. It's the difference from those that do a bunch of reading and you're covering a bunch of articles and you're on every news station and it's nothing wrong with gathering information. But what is your plan to do with all of this knowledge? Will you do things differently? Um, will we as a country make a shift? Um, a lot of families are getting ready to spend more time together. And um, this is an opportunity right now for you to take the education, the good information, and make sure that you are apply it so that we're not in this predicament again, so that we can make better choices and better decisions. So for all of those young and old that watch this broadcast and that are tuning in to this episode, make sure in these times, one way to alleviate panic is to stay educated. Get good, truthful 
information that will allow you to make a plan of action so that you can be ahead of the game. Folks, if you want to stay out of panic, the one thing I know for a fact you can do is you can educate. What's up, y'all? We are back with Live Big. Hopefully you've subscribed already. Um, point number three, it was good, right? Uh, education, make sure that you are educating yourself in order to not panic. It's because what happens is when you don't educate, we begin to fill in the blank. And anytime you fill in the blank with information that is not truth-based, it always has people in a pandemic and living in a lie. So make sure you educate. All right, so... I'm going to go to point number two, you guys, which I really think is good um, that a mind is a terrible thing to waste. But and that's from the United Negro College Fund. I, I, I didn't come up with that. <laughs> um, but um, their slogan used to be a mind is a terrible thing to waste. But um, I'm going to add a spin to that is that your energy is a terrible thing to waste um, in this time where um, you're going to be kind of closed in more. This is not the time to sleep on your dreams and visions. Folks, if you want to write a book and if you've always wanted to write and you've always wanted to start a podcast and you've always wanted to write a blog, friends, this is the time. This is the time. <laughs> this is the time, you guys, for you to make a mental shift in your mind and say, hey, my mind is not just a terrible thing to waste, but so is my energy. This is not the time for you to sleep all day long and be counterproductive and get nothing done. This is the time for you to do those things that you would do if you had time. How many clients have I said, uh, heard say, if I had more time, I would do this. Man, if I could just have some extra hours in a day. Well, friends, I submit to you. We've been given some extra time, whether we want it or not. The question is, what will you do with it? Will you maximize your time? I'm hoping that at the end of all of this panic and hysteria and anxiety that people are feeling, that some people don't waste their energy. And I want to see more books written and published than ever before. I want to see more people launching out and doing their businesses and realizing the importance of multiple streams of income. I want to stir you up and encourage you. Don't just waste your mind, friend. Make a decision that in this season, you're not going to waste your energy. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed um, our third point as we do a three, two, one countdown um, was educate. Make sure you've got the proper information, the proper knowledge, and make sure you've got the proper source of information. Um, number two was make sure that you do not waste energy. And I'm getting ready to launch a series of classes online on how you can level up in this season. So make sure you stay tuned, uh, make sure you subscribe so you'll know when these classes are gonna launch. I want you to live your best life more than anything. I want you to be big on purpose. Before I hit our final tip, tip number one. Uh, whoa, you guys know I love being with y'all every week. Um, I want to make sure that you subscribe. So um, the importance of subscription is that um, YouTube and the algorithms, um, they pay attention to the number of subscribers that you have. And so in order for us to begin to do some of these um, YouTube episodes live, which is what I love to do, we've got to hit at least a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. We've already knocked the watch hours out of the I'm talking about out of the world. We did that in 30 days or less, but we still need to get up our subscribers. So do me a favor. This channel is just blessing you. And you're like, who is this chick? Who is she? She is me. <laughs> uh, I want you guys to make sure you subscribe to this channel. It means the world to me. And my analytics are saying a lot of you guys are coming on and watching multiple times, but some of you are not subscribing. Don't be selfish, friend. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And hang on, you guys. Stay tuned with me. When I come back with this episode of Live Big, I'm going to give you the number one thing you can do to make sure you don't panic. You don't want to miss it. What's up, everybody? This is Ashley Johnson Cross with the Live Big. I hope you have truly already enjoyed thus far 
this week's episode on three things you can do and three ways that you can tap into the knowledge so that you don't panic in a time where everybody seems like they are struggling. So uh, we've already given a review. I'm just going to dive right in to tip number one. And it really is simple and kind of fun, which is to make sure in this time that you are increasing your good endorphins. Y'all, this is so yummy, good spirit fingers. Oh. <laughs> This is so powerful, but very important um, for those people that are not in direct contact with a lot of sunlight um, and they're inside. A lot of people really struggle with depression. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to open the door because of panic and anxiety and fear and worry that you open the door to walk in something that for some of you, you've been healed from, you've been delivered from, um, and you don't want to go back, but you got to make sure that's part of education, that you know the triggers and put a plan in place to increase your good endorphins. So there's a proverb that says, laughter does good like a medicine. I want you to know every single day, you need to make sure that you're doing something at least three times a day, like medicine to intentionally laugh. Yes, this is your prescription. You need to make sure that you are laughing. I'm talking about a belly laugh. And you're saying, Ashley, but the times are terrible. It's so sad. There's really nothing to laugh about. Listen, this is the time for you to put on a funny movie. This is the time for you to look up some uh, some funny tapes of I'm not people hurting themselves, of course, but something funny or something uh, that's a clip or something that will encourage you, stir you up and increase the good endorphins in your life. Friends, we need as a country, we need to laugh where many are crying, where the obstacles seem like they're rising up. We've got to make sure that we keep our endorphins at a high level where laughter can come in and build our immune system. Laughter doeth good like a medicine. When was the last time you laughed? I'm talking about from your belly, laugh, turn some of this news off and laugh and really increased your ability to believe again for something big. Y'all, I truly believe that. Another way to increase your good endorphins is through exercise. Many gyms are closed right now, but get out, get get in your house, get around your apartment complex. Even if you got to walk around your yard, if you have one, get out, um, do some jumping jacks, get up in the morning, get that blood going, do something to increase your good endorphins and make sure finally that you remember that this too shall pass. Keep those endorphins good. Start thinking about where you want to go on vacation when this is over. Start believing for opportunities and how can you generate business. Tap into that creativity, but whatever you do, increase your good endorphins because it will be the key to your victory in these trying times. Listen, you guys, I know that there is a tendency and a temptation to want to panic. But I want to remind you to live big on purpose. And if our country got through the Great Depression, if our country made it through recession, our country will make it through this too. So I want you guys to know this has been Ashley Johnson Cross reporting live from Live Big, reminding you with every ounce of intentionality to be big on purpose. Make sure you subscribe and join me for another episode of Live Big coming to a tube near you.